All right, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Locker here. I'm here to take you through the word problems part of our study guide to help further prepare us for the upcoming test. And so you can see here, I'm going to take us through number 15 first. Uh, and then we're going to kind of go from there. So in number 15, you can see the area of Arizona covered by desert is about 5,880 square miles. If 42% or 0.42 of the total area is desert, about how many square miles is the Arizona's total area? So a, a key word here, of the total. And so we're saying the area of the Arizona is covered by the desert is about 58, uh, or sorry, 5,880 square miles. So that's the area covered by the desert. So um, how many square miles is Arizona's total area? So what we're going to do is we're saying that we don't know what the total area is. So x is going to equal total area. All right, what we do know is that 42% of the total area, or 0 0.42, of the total area, so we multiply that by x, equals 5,880. So we now have set up our equation to solve. So this is a one-step equation at this point where I'm going to divide by 0 0.42, 0.42, and therefore x, or my total area, will be 5,880 5, divided by 0.42, and that gets us x to equal 14,000, uh, we're dealing with square miles. Define your variable, set up the equation, solve for the uh, question being asked in this problem. Number two, four adults spend $37 for admission uh, and $3 for parking at the zoo. Solve the equation 4A plus 3 equals 40 to find the cost of admission per price. So although they're setting up this problem, they're actually very nice and they gave us the equation here. So again, we're asked to solve the equation of 4a plus 3 equals 40 to find the cost of admission per person. So we're going to set this up. Uh, oops, that's so it should be 4a plus 3, not 30. There you go. All right, and so because we're saying we have the three dollars person, uh, three dollars parking for the zoo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve this equation. So subtract three. Four a equals thirty-seven. Let's divide it by four. And a equals I think nine and a quarter. A is going to equal $9.25. So they were nice in this particular problem where they gave us the equation to solve, and we just have to do our two-step equation and solve from there. 17. Jerome completes eight extra credit problems on the first day, then four problems each day until the worksheet is complete. There are 28 problems on the worksheet. To find a variable, write and solve an equation to find how many days it will take Jerome to complete the worksheet after the first day. All right, so we want to know how many days it will take. So I'm going to define my variable x equals days. All right, and so we're saying that he's going to complete eight extra credit problems on the first day. So we know he completed eight problems. And then four problems each day until the worksheet is complete. Well, we don't know how many days, so we represent that by x. So then I'm going to add four problems per day, and that depends on how many days we have. There are 28 total problems on the worksheet. So that means this is going to set equal to 28. So he started with 8 and then doing 4 per day. So now we've defined a variable. We've written an equation. So now we have to solve said equation. I'm going to use the inverse operation, which is subtracting by 8 on both sides. 
4x equals 20. We divide by 4. x equals 5 in units is going to be days. Five days is our answer, and those are the first three word problems on your review.